Hi guys, it's Fiona again. Um, and I said that my next video would be to show you how I would turn an envelope like this. Um, if I was to make a journal out of this and use this as a cover um, into a faux or fake leather look. So it's quite simple. There's a couple of different ways of um, making faux leather. Uh, but this is how I do it with these envelopes. Um, and I do it a different way if I'm using cardstock. But I'll show you that in a different video. So it's quite simple really. Um, so you'd be folding your envelope in half to create the journal. You can either close this up and seal it if you don't want to use this as a back pocket or you can leave it open and I'm going to leave the sticky strip there because um, this will be covered in some sort of paper anyway it will be all covered so well, the inside at least will be covered. So I'm not too bothered about the sticky bit being there right now. Um, yeah, so if I was going to leave it open, that's what I would do. But I might, actually I might just, for this one, I'm going to, I'm actually going to close it. So I'm going to put a bit more glue up around the edges so I can get it out so yeah you can leave it open if you want to um, but in Australia we have these uh, sticky bits here which once you get it wet it's not going to be so sticky anyway but um, I would probably cover this with a piece of paper um, you know, whatever designer paper, pattern paper, whatever you want to use before you go ahead and um, ink it up if you're going to leave it open. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it down. and I'm going to start on the other side so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a spray bottle of water just plain water and wet wet the envelope a little bit totally saturated but and if you did have it open by the way um, if you left the flap open um, I just put a piece of paper inside so that it's not sort of running through to the to the other side okay so once I have that on there I just get some spray ink and this one is from Kaiser Craft and it's called Kaiser Mists. This one is coffee. Um, but you could use any spray ink that you have, Tim Holtz, Distress Ink or Distress Stain or whatever you have in whatever colour you want to use. I mean there's lots of different colours of leather so that that's come through that's just um, it's just the glue sort of showing through from the other side but when it dries that will disappear so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some little bits of the coffee ink on here spray a bit more water just to make sure it kind of stays wet and 
not sure if I have enough there. It's quite messy by the way, if you don't want to use your uh, this little thing, you can use another any sort of type of sponge. Um, not sure if I oh yeah, I have one here. This is an old makeup sponge. So I'm just gonna that is actually quite thin so I'm going to need some more just wet it a bit more more ink and this coffee one is quite nice it's got a bit of a gold fleck through it Depends on the look that you want as to whether you sort of still want to see through it a sort of a lighter brown or a darker brown. Mine's fairly light. Um, I'll just add a little bit more. do is add some drops of water just to create kind of little water stains which makes you know the leather look older not sure if you can see that you can see the little marks coming through there Okay, so, and also another tip is that if you do have a brown, but you want your leather to be more kind of a reddish brown or greenish brown, or you can add other colours to it. So you can spray with the brown and a little bit of red, um, or you know just red if you want red leather. I've also got some black. Um, yeah, green, whatever colour you want really. But because these envelopes are yellow, I'm just sort of doing it this one brown. Okay, so the next step is to let this dry or dry it off with your heat gun and then do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to just dry it off off camera and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so I'm back and I have dried both sides here. And you can see it looks a little bit like leather. And now these bits here with the glue didn't actually go away and I thought they would but I realise now that usually when I do this, um, what I forgot to do was actually to glue the two together. So right before you start, if you want to, you can open this up, put a piece of paper inside and actually glue it, glue it in there or glue the two together and then you shouldn't end up with that sort of a problem but I'm actually not too worried about that because you know I'll be covering it up with an image of some sort anyway and mine's already a little bit shiny because it has the glitter inside the 
spray there which is nice but the next step is to add some shine so I'm using now you can use sometimes I use gel medium but I don't actually have any at the moment um, and a gel medium is um, it's a really good sealer and it's normally something that you mix with acrylic paints so you can find it in any art supply store um, usually the matte medium is good enough but if you want it glossy you can use a gloss medium and it makes a really good sealer also it's a really good glue but I'm going to be using my homemade Mod Podge Mod Podge which is just PVA craft glue mixed with water and or if you have Mod Podge that you've purchased use that so it's basically I use about 60 to 70 percent white glue to 30 to 40 percent water to make my Mod Podge okay so I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix and because I haven't got a lid it keeps drying up so I have to poke a hole in it again and you can use a fair amount make it fairly thick and the best way is to use a brush to apply it and also when this dries um, not only is it shinier but it's also makes it more durable so a little bit more like leather and kind of waterproof ish it won't be completely waterproof but it makes it a little bit more waterproof and you can add two layers if one's not enough but I usually just do one okay so, and it does lift up the it does lift up the um, ink a little bit when you're doing this so just um, I would just do it in sort of in more one direction um, different directions so you haven't got straight lines in case that happens okay now I'm going to do both sides let that dry and then I'll come back and show you the result Okay, so I'm back and I have dried off my faux leather envelope. You can see how shiny it is. So it kind of looks and feels a bit like the leather. I was a little bit impatient and I, when I turned it over, it wasn't quite dry. So I've had a few little bits here that have kind of ripped off but in a way I quite like that because it makes it look like old leather it's been a bit distressed so I don't mind that and I think the water drops there make it look really nice too so that's how I do my envelopes so you fold it in half like this and as you would normally put in your pages, embellishments. Um, just see if I've got try and link hard as an example. You can add your lace, whatever you like. And I will be making a journal with this, so I'll show you what it looks like when it is finished. Mine's not quite dry yet, so I need to let it lay flat okay so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I will be back with another video soon thank you bye